<clears throat> All right, you guys, happy Monday. So like I said, you guys are gonna need a mini band today. We're gonna do things a little bit differently. Let's start with our warm up. We're gonna do cross toe touches, eight of each. I'm gonna go through the exercises as we are about to do them, okay? So this week, we're gonna have three rounds. We're gonna do each exercise three times in a row. 55 seconds of work, give me some Frankenstein with a 10 second rest, <clears throat> eight exercises total. And I'm gonna show you what that exercise is right before we start it during the break. Give me some torso rotations next, eight of these. <clears throat> and then let's finish with some hip rotations. Give me eight of these. All right, you guys, keep doing those hip rotations. I'm gonna start my timer. Our first exercise that we're doing today, we're doing a reverse lunge to a kick. <clears throat> so we're gonna alternate sides. We're gonna start with that right leg going back in five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go, you guys, reverse lunge. Give me a kick forward, step down. Reverse lunge, kick, step down. We're going to be alternating through lower body, upper body, and core today. Doing total body workout. Six of our exercises are going to have a mini band today. I want you guys to get deep down into that lunge. Use those legs. It's going to help warm up your body even more. 20 seconds to go. All right, good job. We have 10 seconds left. Last three, two, one. All right, we have a 15 second rest here. So one down, we're gonna do two more of that same exact exercise. All right, get ready. We're going in two, one, let's work. So on that kick forward, I want your knee to come up first and then release that leg for that kick. Keeping that foot flat. As always, our core is tight. Keep your body strong. You guys are doing great. We have about 20 seconds to go. I want you to strive for that 90-90 angle in your legs on your lunge. So that big step back. Last three, two. All right, step it out. We're going to do that one more time. Take a deep breath here. <clears throat> Get ready, two, one, let's work. Tap that back knee down in your lunge for quick taps, and then bring it all the way back up. Good, when you come up to that kick, I want you to power through all the way down to that heel in your standing leg. And we want to have that 90 degree angle in both of your legs to help protect your knees. You need an exhale on that kick. Last 10 seconds. From here, you guys are going to go grab that mini band. Two, one. All right, grab that mini band. You're going to put it around your wrist. We're going to do an inchworm to a push-up and then walk it back. Get yourself ready. We're going in three, two, one. So inchworm it down. Make those hands wide with that band on. Give me that push-up. 
and then walk it back. Take your time with it. I want you guys to get into that perfect plank before you go down into that push-up. We have about 20 seconds left. This is slow and controlled, this exercise. Especially with the band, it takes us a little bit longer. See if we can fit in one more. Last three, two, one. All right, you guys, rest. Walk it back up. Give me a shoulder roll. We're going to go back in it. In three, two, one. Here we go. Lock it down. It's about four steps forward to get you in to that perfect plank. Widen those arms. Give me that push up and then bring it back. A wider stance helps here with your legs. Keep that core tight. I want you guys to keep that head neutral spine. There's no reason to look up at me. Keep your head and your gaze forward. I'll tell you when we're done. We have 10 more seconds here. Got time for one more. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Good. Stand it back up. Take that rest. We're going to do that one more time. Give me a shoulder roll. Deep breath in and out. Three, two, one. Here we go. Bring it down. So we've been sitting in about four. Let's see if we can pick up that pace a little bit on this last set and try and get five in. Twenty-six seconds left. Fifteen seconds left. Keep it up, you guys. You got this. Last six. Three, two, one. All right, you guys, take it to the floor. We're going to do a bridge tap out. I want you guys to put that band around your toes. You're going to go up into your glute bridge and you're just going to tap your heels out while you're in that glute bridge. All right, let's work. So your toes are up. Your hips are up. You're squeezing those glutes. That band is around your toes. So you've got that resistance on your feet while you're trying to do those tap outs. So we're just tapping our feet side to side, working our thighs. Don't let that butt drop, you guys. Keep it up there. You can either have your hands down at your side. You can put them up on your hips here. Whatever works for you. 10 more seconds. Try and get that leg out as far as you can on that tap. Three, two, and rest. Right, lower those hips. Deep breath. We're gonna do that one again. Get ready. All right, get those hips up, you guys. And let's work. We're gonna tap it side to side. Now, when you tap your foot out, that other foot that's just sitting there, really dig that heel into the ground. Let that ground you so that you're not moving your whole body when you do that tap out. You're just moving those legs. You got to keep that, those glutes tight. 
so you don't hurt your lower back here. Keep tapping it out. We have 20 seconds to go. Ten more seconds. Come on, get those glutes up. One inch higher. Pick those hips up. Squeeze it. Two, one, and release. Drop those hips. Starting to feel that burn a little bit. All right, we're going to do that one more time. Big deep breath. Three, two, one. All right, lift those hips up. Tap it out. This is our last time here. From here, our next exercise, you're gonna take that band and you're gonna put it up above your knees, so around your upper thigh area, and we're gonna do leg raises. So we're gonna stay down here. All right, keep on tapping those legs out. Digging that heel into the ground. Come on, get those hips up a little higher. You can do it. We're on our final 15. Last 10. Almost there. Come on, guys. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome. Take that band, bring it all the way up to your thighs. And we're going to do a leg raise. You're going to do a leg raise, leave it up, open those legs up, bring it down, open those legs up. So those legs never hit the floor. All right. So raise them up and then open, bring them down and then open. So it's up, out, in, down, out, in. So this set, we're keeping that band around our upper thighs. Our next that we're going to bring that band down for a tab. We're going to make it a little bit more challenging. All right, we're halfway. So keep that lower back pressed into the ground. You put your hands under your hips to help keep that lower back pressed down. Last five, three, two, one. All right, take that band, slide it down. I want it on your calves now. Put those hands under your hips. We're gonna start with our legs up. And a two, one, here we go, raise them up. Now bring those legs out. So it's a little more challenging here. And we're gonna challenge you to one more level on our last set. We're gonna bring that band down to our ankles. So up, bring those legs out and in. Then down, bring those legs out and in. If you're feeling any pain in your hip flexors, I want you to lift up your head you can take your head and shoulders up off the floor. That'll help. And if that still bothers you, then just leave your legs down for a minute. Take a quick rest and then get back in it. Two, one. All right, you guys, done with that. Bring it down to your ankles now. This is going to be the toughest one, but I know you guys can do it. All right, get those hands under your hips. Two, one, here we go. Bring them up, out and in. Bring them down, out and in. Good. All right, this is our last time here. From here, we're going to take that band. We're going to put it back to our upper thighs, and we're going to stand up. We're going to do a squat to a heel raise. Twenty seconds left, you guys. Not only are we working our core here, but we're targeting those inner and outer sides too. Last ten. 
five more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, you guys, bring that band to your upper thighs. And then stand it up. So you're going to have a wider stance in your legs, and all we're doing is a squat to a heel raise here. All right, let's work. Squat, heel raise. Squat, heel raise. You can do whatever you want to do with those hands, whatever works for you. When you guys come up into that heel raise, I want you to bring those glutes in. So squeeze them tight. Keeping that chest up on your squat. All right, last 15. We're already halfway done with our workout. We're on exercise number five right now. Last five, three, two, one. All right, rest. Fix that band if you need to, if it curled up at all. All right, deep breath here. This time I want you guys to concentrate on getting a little bit lower into that squat. Two, one, here we go. So let's see if you can get down to a 90 degree angle or lower in those legs, all right? Everybody turn sideways. Let me see how low you're getting in those squats. Yes, nice, Daniela. I see a Robert. Good, nice low squat, nice job you guys. So you wanna have your weight in your heels on that squat. So especially if you're getting beyond 90 degrees in those legs, you wanna make sure your weight distribution is in the back and you're not throwing forward on those toes. All right, last three, two, and rest. We're gonna do that one more time. Deep breath, shake it out. Here we go, two, one, let's work. Low squat. On that heel raise, squeeze those glutes. I wanna see those quads pop out. And you tighten it all up, good. From here, you guys, our next exercise, number six, we're gonna be doing upper body. So we're gonna take that band off and we're gonna put it around our wrist. We're gonna be doing a rotating shoulder press and I'll explain it on our break. Right now, I want you to concentrate on this last set. Get low in that squat. Your weight is in your heels on that squat and then you bring it all the way up to your toes. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Good job. Take that band off. You're going to put it around your wrist. You're going to start in this position. Your hands are facing each other. We're going to do a shoulder press. I'm going to come closer so you guys can see my hands. You're going to do a shoulder press and you're going to rotate your wrist. So it's going to be like this. Do that shoulder press, rotate those hands, and then bring it out. Rotate them back in, bring it down. So up, make your hands face out, squeeze it out, and then bring it down. Good, nice job. Now on that squeeze out at the top, keep your arms straight. So we're not working our lats here. Well, we are hitting our lats a little bit but we're also targeting the top and the bottom part of our shoulders here. We wanna try and keep a straight arm at the top. Good, you guys, keep it up. Keep that tension on the band the whole time. And I think, were we resting? No, keep going. Two, one, now we're resting. All right, take that 15 minute second rest. Yeah, 15 minutes. All right, now that you know what we're doing, when we start this, I want you guys to keep that tension on your band the whole time, even when you're down. 
All right, let's bring it up, squeeze it out, bring it back in. So as you're bringing those hands up, that's when you're rotating those arms around so that your hands are facing the other way. Once you have that little piece down, then you can pick up the pace a little bit here. So it's one fluid movement, down, up, press it out, bring it back in and down, keeping that tension all the time. So don't let any of your bands slack up on you. Nice, you guys, you got it. 10 more seconds. Gonna start feeling that burn in your shoulders. We're gonna work through that. Three, two, one, rest. Good job, give me a shoulder roll here. We're gonna do that one more time. And then from here, after this last exercise, we're taking our band back to our sides and we're going down to the ground for fire hydrant. All right, here we go, last set. Bring it up and out and back down. On that squeeze out, I want you guys to exhale. Pick up that pace just a little bit more. I want you guys to burn out those shoulders here. Inhale on the way down. Exhale when you come up and push out. Good, you guys, halfway. If it's starting to burn too much, you just can't do it. Slow down that pace a little bit then. Bring those arms all the way down and all the way back up. Full range of motion. Last five, four, three, two, and done. Nice work. All right, grab that band. You guys can sit down and put it on around your thighs. We're gonna flip it over to all fours. We're gonna do a three pulse fire hydrant on each side. So we'll start with that right leg up. We're gonna pulse it. One, two, three, switch sides. One, two, three, switch sides. So make sure that your shoulders are directly above your hands. And on that fire hydrant, you wanna get your knee and your foot up at the same level. Working on that 90 degree angle again. Three pulses up and then release. Good. All right, we have 20 seconds to go. Don't worry about looking at me. I want you guys to keep that head neutral spine. So you're gonna look down at your hands. We have 10 seconds to go. Last three, two, one. All right, lean it back, stretch those sides out. All right, we're gonna start this next set on our left side. Same thing, we're not moving that band at all. Two, one, all right, back up you guys. One, two, three, release. Now, think about your foot. I want you to flex that foot. That's gonna help engage that those glutes even more. Your glutes and your hamstrings. Give me that three count pulse and then switch. Try not to rock your hips too much here. 25 seconds to go. Yes, you guys are doing great. Keep that core tight. Shoulders right above those hands. So you can go on your wrists if your wrists are starting to bother you. Two, one. All right, lean it back, take that rest. You earned it. All right, we're gonna do this one more time and then we're gonna go to our back and do our last exercise. We're gonna put our band to our toes and do bicycle crunches. Get ready, two, one, start on the right this time. One, two, three, bring it down. Now I really want you to press into that band, you guys. Your glutes are starting to feel it, your outer thighs. I want you to push into that feeling. Good 
This is a great exercise to help strengthen those hip flexors, to help work on that outside part of our glutes. 20 seconds to go. Come on, we're almost there. We have 10 more seconds. Get that leg up. Last five. Finish it off. Three, two, one. Awesome job. All right, sit down. I want you to put your band around the tops of your toes. And we're going to do bicycle crunches. Slow ones. So you guys are going to lift up. You're going to have a, a straight leg, a slight bend in it. And we're going to bring that right elbow to left knee. Bring it back to the ground and then switch sides. So your feet are stationed on the ground, your heels. Toes are up in the air. So it's like a very slow and controlled bicycle crunch here. You want to have your legs out with a slight bend in those knees. And every time you bring that elbow across to your knee, exhale. Your fingertips are behind your head, but don't force your head into that bicycle crunch. I want you to lead with your chest and your elbow. We have five seconds to go. Three, two, all right, rest, stretch it out. One down, two to go. I can't see anybody, so hold your hand with a thumbs up if you got that one. All right, good job, guys. There we go, get your hands back behind your head. Two, one, let's work, slow and controlled. So I'm doing one, bring it down. Two, bring it down. Three, bring it down. Squeeze it at the top. I want you to hold it for a quick second before you release it. Feel that in, inner part of your core and your obliques start to fire up. The more you can twist into it, the more you'll get those obliques for the side of your core activated and engaged. If you can aim that elbow to the outside of your knee, it doesn't have to touch it, but if you can aim it to the outside, you can get into those obliques even more. Less than 10, you guys. Last three, two, one. Oh, last set, you guys. We made it to the very end of our workout. That went by kind of quick, huh? All right, get those hands behind your head. Get it ready. We're going in five. Deep breath. Two, one. Here we go. Bring it across. Give me a little hold here and then switch it. Almost there, you guys. Very close to the end. We got about 30 seconds left. Twenty seconds to go. Keep focusing on that core. Getting that elbow across, bringing that knee up, working against that band for that resistance. Less than ten. Give me two more here, you guys. One on each side. Two, one, and done. Good work. All right, release that band. Go ahead, stretch out that body. Arms over your head, stretch out those fingertips towards the wall, point those toes, make that body long. All right, bringing those knees in, hug them towards your chest. Let's just roll it a little bit. So I want you to squeeze those knees in and release. So you're getting like a little lower back massage here. All right, now drop those feet. I want you to take that right heel across your left knee Slide those hands through and bring up those sides to get that hip glute right on the right side there. The more you can bring that knee in towards your chest, the more you'll feel it on the right side of your glute. 
All right, from here, we're gonna lower that left leg down and we're gonna twist our torso. So that right heel and foot, I want you to bring it towards the ground to your left. So we're twisting your torso. We're getting a little torso stretch in here. Once that foot hits the ground, I want you to just release that lower back. Your shoulders should be on the ground here. Give me a deep breath. Good, bring that knee back up. And now we're gonna switch sides. So bring that left ankle across your right knee. Bring your hands through your sides. Lift up that leg. Get that glute on the left side. We're working hard today. Now we're gonna do the same thing. So that left foot, I want you to bring it towards the ground. So twist, twist, twist. Till that foot hits the ground. Keeping your shoulders on the ground. Release that lower back. Deep breath. And now bring it back in slow. Bring both knees in towards your chest. And we're gonna roll it up. All right, bring it to your knees here. Do a quick shoulder stretch. Good, switch sides. All right, hands down. Curl those toes under. We're gonna roll it up in five. Four, three, two, and done. Nice job, you guys. Good work today. Tomorrow's workout, we're doing all sliders. So make sure you have some sliders on hand or paper plates will work too. Everybody get those hands in. Gotta do our family on three. Come on, Robert. You gotta get in this too, your family too. All right, family on three. One, two, three, family, and a sweaty selfie. Big smiles, you guys. Awesome work today. Happy Monday. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.